Hey, good morning. It is Monday. So what does that mean for you as a DON, the unit manager, a DON? What does that mean? All right. If you signed up for my email list, we talked about Monday yesterday. All right. So we plan a day ahead. A couple things you want to start thinking about. It was the weekend. So coming in on a Monday, remember your clinical is probably, it's probably going to be a little bit longer depending on what you had um, over the weekend. Okay. So Monday, what are we doing today? All right, so you're going to be reading a 72 hour um, report, okay? Because you wanna know everything that happened over the weekend. So you're not just gonna look at a 24 hour report, you're gonna go for a 72 hour report. You're gonna be pulling order listings, any new orders you're going to be your admission charts all right if you had any admissions the charts okay the chart the chart the chart has to come to clinical all right the chart has to come to clinical you have to make sure that everything according to your policy in terms of what it is um, that you're going to be doing for your new admission you need to make sure it's all done all right don't go back and forth bring the chart to the meeting. If you had discharges, okay, don't just say so and so left, bring the chart to the meeting. All right, you had hospital transfers. What are you looking at? Huh? What are you looking at for the hospital transfers? All right, remember, hospital transfers, you always wanna think prevention, okay? Now, granted, if the person get admitted to the hospital, that meant they needed to go out, right? But did you do everything possible to prevent the hospital transfer? Because remember, all of these, um, your hospital transfers affect your QMs. So the goal is to prevent hospital transfers and only transfer if you cannot manage them at your facility. So say you've been working on this person for a while, but they still had to be transferred out. Okay, that means that they needed to be transferred, okay, because then they then got admitted. Now you send somebody out to the hospital and they return, that means, okay, how could we have kept them in house? All right, so remember to look at your, if you use a PCC, go into your um, hospital um, transfer log and then there should be a form in there that you kind of go through and you're looking at to say um, what could have been, what happened with this resident and what could have been done to prevent the hospital transfer. I always like to think of um, prevention for everything. How could we have prevented, for, um, prevented this, all right? Um, so that's what you're gonna be doing, looking at everything to make sure that um, the paperwork was um, completed for the hospital transfer, okay? The um, bed health policy, your um, discharge, your transfer um, paperwork, you wanna make sure that all that was done, that they did a change in condition. All that goes into the hospital um, transfer. So you wanna bring these, um, you want, you're not gonna bring these, but you're gonna be looking at those um, hospital tr transfers and one in clinical. And then if they were discharged, then you're going to be actually, you know, then bringing that chart back um, to the morning clinical. All right, so these are things that you're going to be doing today. All right, so if you looked at the email, and I'm going to show you this because I pretty much just took it from the DO and follow through book. All right, so in this note, in this book here, we do the same thing every day. Okay, every Monday, you do the same thing. Every Tuesday, you do the same thing. Every Wednesday, you do the same thing. And this is just basically, if you haven't been in the leadership position, I'm going to be teaching you consistency, all right? Consistency of doing the same thing every day. But you have to be disciplined to do the same thing every day. So when I talked about what you're doing today, because it's Monday, okay? What a freaking weekend. Um, what are my top priorities for today? And I put um, only list three, all right? And I'm talking about what are the top three priorities that the DON has to do, all right? And then you need to know what's the 
next priorities for your AD owner or your unit manager. And then, you know, I do color blocking for that. All right. Again, if you have my email list, then you know, last week I sent out um, an email on color blocking and why I love color blocking when it comes to performance, all right? Because I know what I have to do depending on my color, all right? My color is always red. So for me, ooh, I dropped. My stuff is going to be red, all right? This is Bill Keys box. All right, anything in the red that you put in red is going to be for you, all right? Whether you're the DON, the unit manager, the supervisor, whatever you have to do is going to be in the red. All right, then you choose another color. You might choose yellow for your assistant or for your unit manager, um, green for your supervisor. So everybody gets appointed um, a color. All right, now say you delegate something to the ADON. Okay, your ADON is in yellow, but her top priority may be red. All right, meaning that's something that she has to do. All right, so I love using color blocking just because it tells me how urgent the task is or not so urgent the task is. All right, and then the other thing you start thinking about is when you're doing your color blocking, when you're delegating, Remember, you have to remember the five rights of delegation when you are delegating tasks, all right? And then again, if you got the email yesterday, you know we talked about the delegation inside of that email, all right? Um, and then that's what your Monday is essentially going to look like because it was a weekend, all right? So you already know you're gonna have more clinical record to review because it was a weekend, all right? So those are the things, making sure you um, have your morning clinical, all right, Mondays, you're gonna do your morning clinical, it's not an option. You have to look over your 72-hour um, report, pull your order list in, look at any type of admissions, any discharges, um, hospital transfers, what could have been prevented, okay? The goal is always gonna be to prevent, 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 all right? And use color blocking when you're doing all of that, all right? Um, so say you pull your order listing report. <clears throat> okay, so you're gonna pull your order listing report. And then you look in for anything that might flag out, all right? So your order listing. And this is, I mean, I'm saying today, but this is any any day that you, you know, when you're doing morning clinical. All right, what does your order list and report? You're looking for things that will flag, all right? So, for example, you might have a resident started on an antipsychotic, right? Antipsychotic meds, all right? You want to look for anybody who's on any type of antibiotics. Suppose somebody who was who is a you know a long-term care resident or anything, and you just you know you see oh they have an oxygen. All right, they're on oxygen, so that should alert you because why would they go from no oxygen to then now they're on oxygen? So you know that they should have a changing. Um, sorry, what was my? You know they should have a changing condition. Right, because if you're going from um, no oxygen uh, and then you have oxygen, you know that's a change in condition. So you need to identify the root cause for that. So that might include like, um, you know, some frequent vitals, chest x-ray, right? So you might wanna start going there. Um, if you have, um, you know, any type of labs that was ordered, all right? Oh, and the other thing, let's circle back. You wanna make sure um, that you bring any type of labs, like you're reviewing your labs in the morning um, clinical, all right? So labs, okay, we're looking for notification, all right, to MDRR, all right? So anything that cool responds in here, 
you know, she'll automatically have a nurse's note attached to it. All right. Anything that comes in this order listing report should have a nurse's note that goes that's attached to it. All right. Meaning all of these was a new order. So it should have a nurse's note to the family saying, hey, this resident was started on XYZ or the resident, if the resident is his own responsible party, um, then, you know, the, the resident is made aware of the new orders. All right. If you have um, room changes, okay, you know, nurse's note to be in there. All right. And remember, you always want to make sure that the nurse's note for any room changes are prior. Okay. You need to have one when they, when they move and then another note prior to the movement. Okay, remember, um, the residents um, have to be informed prior to the room change, not at the time of the room change, but prior to the room change, all right? So these are some of the things that you're going to be looking at on your Mondays. So I typically don't encourage you to have meetings on Monday because meeting, your Mondays are so full with getting through the, the clinical side of the weekend. Um, <clears throat> So I typically don't like you guys to have meetings on your um, on Mondays just because it's already so full. Okay. <clears throat> so that's what I wanted to share today. It's Monday. Just kind of get a routine for doing the same thing every day. All right. So one of the goals um, of being a DON is that you want to have a plan. Okay. And you don't want to plan like the day of, you want to have a plan in place the day prior or the week prior, all right? So you kind of get an idea of doing the same thing every day. So that's what I want you to start doing if you're not doing, establish a routine, okay? And it doesn't have to be how I'm encouraging you to. Whatever works for you, you know what you can, what you have in your building, you know what your census is in your building, what your acuity is in your building, what type of staff you have in your building. So then you kind of incorporate that um, into your routine. Now, say perhaps you are a staff challenge facility, right? If you're a staff challenge, that means you're probably in, um, you know, survival mode. All right, prime example, one of my DONs, she called me, I think it might have been Thursday. I don't remember if it was Thursday or Friday, but she had already been there at like 8 in the morning. It's already, I think eight o'clock at night and they had two call outs. They have agency in the building, but nobody picked up. I said, okay, call the administrator, call your RNC. They need to, they need to bump it up. They either need to bump up the rate. They need to bump up um, or give a bonus. You can't go back in there. All right. Um, I don't promote overextending yourself as a deal one. Why? Because I've been there. All right. I've been there. I know what it's like to work 16, 80 hours a week. All right. So I don't promote that for DONs, all right? That's not what you're there for, all right? You're there to manage, but at the same time, we leave because we're not supported. So I said, bump it up. You can't go back in the building, all right? And you, you know, sometimes you don't want to use that tone, like, listen, but you have to have boundaries, okay? You, you have to have boundaries. You have to know that you are needed in that position, and they don't want to put somebody else in that position, especially if they see you doing well, all right, so she called her, you know, her um, her regional, and yes, they put up the bonus, and then she didn't have to go in. All right, so, you know, I, if you call me, I'm going to tell you that. All right, I'm not going to say, oh, well, you know, we're just going to have to go back out in there and work 24 hours in that day. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You'll, I'm not, I'm not going to promote that for you. Why? Because, for one, it's, it's not safe. All right. And I believe in work life balance. All right. And I promote that because I've been there. I've been there where I went to work early, stayed late. And then the minute I got home already on my laptop working. No, that building is always going to be there. Okay. Now you need to decide if you want to be there with that building. Um, so if you're staff challenged, you're going to um, focus just, you know, on your 24 hour, or, I mean, if it's the weekend, your 72 hour report. All right, at least do that. All right, pull an order listing. All right, check the POC for showers. 
right? Because that's just such a, a citation. I'm seeing a lot of people getting cited for um, not giving showers, all right? So, um, you know, check that because you're in survival mode. All right, so I, you can't, I'm not gonna say, oh, well, you've gotta have a morning clinical, you gotta do this, you have to do that because it's not realistic, all right? I know what it's like to be in a building with a staff challenge. So you in survival mode, all right? You wanna think safety, all right? Always think face safety first, all right? No matter what you're going into, always think safety, all right? And then this is pretty much what you're gonna be um, focusing on. You're focusing on the safety of the residents and the staff, you're focusing on this, um, the 72 hour clinical um, order listing, checking the POC, um, and then following up on anything that happened in that 72 hour period. And make sure you're using a 24 hour follow up tool because this way you can put everything on there and then delegate it out to someone, um, someone else. And if your staff challenged and asked your um, MDS coordinator, hey, if they can check POC documentation, right, um, to check for any showers, if they can just kind of look over to see if they've seen any type of change in documentation um, from the staff charting that would alert a change in um, an ADL function, all right? Because if they have like a decline in the ADLs, if they have a decline in transfers or something, you want to put in a physical therapy screen or OT screen. So you want to be able to catch that. If So your MDS person, you can ask them to help you review that okay hey can you just review that see if anybody had a change in adls um if they have a change in like incontinence if they were always continent and now they're on incontinence um you know you want to capture that as soon as possible because you know you can put them on a three-day bowel and bladder perhaps to get some vital signs maybe they might be having a uti so when it comes to that side ask your mds person to look over that that area the care plans your matrix because they're in the computer they have to gather that that, that data anyway um, and then this way it can free you up on some more things that are urgent, okay? <clears throat> so that's your Monday, okay? If you haven't, if you're not on my email list, I highly encourage you to do so because I send out three emails a week um, going over different areas, primarily everything that's going to set you up for um, success as a DOA, all right? So questions? Um, Shoot me an email um, or comment below. All right, have a great day.